Chapter 8. On to Monterey. August 25th, 1843, Utah Territory. Red, yellow, blue cliffs rise up on all sides. Sunset, fierce, barbaric, hostile. The man is Captain John Fremont. The government wants a route survey that will connect the United States with the Oregon country. Fremont is the man for the job. Four months ago, he left Kansas. He is west of the Rocky Mountains now. Fifteen men with him. One howitzer gun. And a hunter named Carson. You're working on that diary, Captain? Yes, I'll need these notes when I get back to Washington. I sort of keep thinking about Broken Hand Fitzpatrick. <laughs> He's all right, Carson. Uh, maybe we should have all stayed together. Uh, by the time we get to the Oregon country, Broken Hand will be there waiting for us. He'll most likely get to Fort Hall before we do. That was no coyote, Captain. Indians? Dodson, what is it? I, I ain't sure, sir. You see something? I, I just ain't sure, Captain Fremont. I'll take a look around, Captain. I'll get some sleep. Indians won't attack if they know we're on the watch for them. September 8th. One week south of Soda Springs, searching for the Great Salt Lake. Something else, something I can't even talk to Carson about. Not yet. Our final destination should be the Columbia River. Job will be done. Yet, yet I know I must go on from there. Well, yeah, that can wait. Our party's even smaller. I've sent some men on the Fort Hall for supplies. The rest of us are in marshlands surrounded by mountains. Real salty around here, Captain. Yeah, I'm breathing it. I feel it in my stomach. Makes you kind of thirsty. Hey, Carson, your face is covered with salt. You better wipe it off. Marshlands glisten with salt. We've ridden to higher ground. An ocean. An ocean in the middle of the desert, all the way to the horizon. Further than you can see. The great salt lake. Hey, them islands out there. Look at them islands. Tropical jungle life. You reckon anything lives on? Animals. Carson, tomorrow we'll take the rubber boat out. We'll explore the lake, the island. Captain, it's a real good thing there's only four of us in this here boat. Huh? It sprung half a dozen leaks. Carson, something wrong, Captain? The island. You see anything on it? Carson, take these glasses. Have a look. Captain. I don't see nothing but a rock. No trees, no... Nothing at all. Just barren rock. Nothing but rock. Captain Fremont, we're taking water. You sure are, Captain. Start bailing. I expected to see so much on that island. And keep bailing, brother. This boat's going to sink. All right, now. Come on, we're almost in shallow water now. We'll be able to wade ashore. September 15th, Oregon Trail. The men I sent on the Fort Hall have returned. Broken Hand Fitzpatrick is with him. Captain, my boy, we couldn't bring much food. 
Food's a scarce commodity up at Fort Hall. Well, how's that? Well, it's the settlers moving into the Aragon country. They're just about cleaning up all the food at the fort. Hey, you reckon we can get enough to see us to the Columbia River, Broken Hand? That's quite a problem, Kit. Well, we don't all have to go to the Columbia. I, I think we can send some of the men home, as a matter of fact. October 28th. They're camped beside the Dallas to the Columbia River. Rock walls overlook deep, dark whirlpools. No sound, no foam, no ripple. An accurate map has been charted from Kansas to the Oregon country. Still the dream I have had for many weeks stays with me. The great unknown country to the south of here. Now, what are you thinking about, Captain? Hmm? I... I was thinking of uh, somewhere in the Sierra Nevada. Sierra Nevada? The Buenaventura River. Hey, Captain, you ain't got no idea. The river's never been surveyed. But, but no Captain... No one's even sure where it is. Well, it's on maps. Yeah, but every map is different. Captain, we wouldn't have food enough. Ah, oh, buffalo, dear. We'd find food and travel light. The winter's coming. We'll be in the river country before then. Blows through a valley, mild climate even in winter. I ought to have my skull examined for even listening Travel to you. light, you said, Captain. We'll leave the heavy equipment. Well, what about the howitzer gun, Captain? We'll take that. December 10th. Excitement at the prospect of locating the Buenaventura. We're pushing through hill country where no white men have ever been before. The Indians seem hostile everywhere, smoke signals. We've hauled it. We stand precious little chance that we're attacked. Yeah, if we could discourage them. Well, it might be kind of hard to discourage them. They're coming. Look. Down on hill, Captain. See him? Unhitch the howitzer, loaded. Hurry up. The howitzer, speak glory, yes. Unhitch the mule from the gun. Dr. Help me. Look at that. Load the howitzer. Not the ready, Captain. Not this fails. Get ready to fight. Fire! It stopped them. Captain, me boy, they're running for their lives. Captain, this is the first time I ever took a like into that air gun. <laughs> January 3rd. We move across Black Rock, desert land. Heavy fog. And the cold. Sure can't see more than a few yards in any direction, Captain. Well, at least we're hidden from the Indians. January 15th. Pine forest. We must be coming to the Buenaventura River. Carson has gone ahead looking for beaver signs. That'll tell us we're close to a river flowing seaward. All the men are looking forward to seeing the river. It'll be a moment of triumph for all of us. January 16th. The river must be at hand. Not in one ravine or valley, then in the next. We're, we're close by. January 17th. The river's somewhere in this country. We've tried all directions in the, in the next ravine, perhaps, or, or the next. January 18th. Where is it? No sign in the river. No sign of beaver tracks to indicate where it could be. Where is it? There is no Buenaventura. Another legend. Another legend like the jungle islands in the Salt Lake. Oh, these fools. We who... might have missed the river. No, it doesn't exist. I reckon we came a long way for nothing. I wouldn't say that. We found there's no such river. Now we know. What now? Now? We're low on food. We can't go back. We've come too far. Well, Captain, California is just on the other side of these mountains. Yeah, it's late in the year, but hey, we can try. If, if we can find a pass. We must find a pass, Captain. All right, we turn off. We'll try to cross the Sierras. We have no choice. Mountains, 
9 to 15,000 feet high. I keep a record of the day. We've shot a few birds, but today we see no sign of any. Silence. The moaning silence of the Sierra Nevada. Snow. Hundred feet deep in places. The gun has been left behind. We go on. On. Hunger. Hunger and frozen bodies. Starvation is there. No, what? One of the men. <laughs> Dave. Uh, Captain Fremont. Snow's so soft. Comfortable. Yeah. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. Later now. Later. No, no, no. I'm hungry, Captain. If I can just sleep, I'm, I won't care so much. Give me food. Give me food. I want food. We better strap him to his saddle, Captain. All right. Help me. Well, oh, no. Let me stay. <laughs> Most of our clothing, leather jackets, footgear, half naked now, living skeletons, frozen, and we stare at each other looking for signs of madness. We stumble or stand still. How much can men stand, dear God?